We're asking you this morning, what does your car know about you? And importantly, who has access to that data? Yeah, our Matthew Smith's in Southfield with more on new technology and what we need to be aware of. Oh, it's pretty easy to see that cars are getting more and more high tech. A case in point, the rear view backup camera on so many of our newer vehicles. In fact, many of the new cars have even more cameras. This is the inside of a Tesla Model 3, and this is a camera pointed right at the driver. The manual says the camera is not turned on right now, but could be used for potential future features. Tesla promises that they will let customers know before they turn the camera on. GM's 2018 Cadillac CT6 with Super Cruise has a similar internal camera. It monitors for driver distraction, but GM says they don't collect or store data. But more cars are having more and more sensors. Consumer Reports noted that out of 44 brands, 32 of them now offer up wireless data connections as well. But the question remains, why? A lot of data is being collected to help automakers prepare for self-driving cars. It's a machine learning process. They're using your data to map the roads and better understand how vehicles and people are going to react on those roads. And the law gets murky. The 2015 law says crash data belongs to the owner, but that's a small amount. And some of us voluntarily give it up, even if we don't know it. Consumers shouldn't be put in a position where they have to search for what information is being gathered about them, how it's being gathered, and what it's being used for. So what data of yours is actually out there currently? We're taking a closer look at it. In fact, over at WXYZ.com, we're talking about Consumer Reports and their advocacy on Consumer Union, which is calling on people and companies to be more transparent when it comes to the information they're giving out.